Today I'm gonna to do a quick little video on my 92 F-150. Um, if you have any of uh, the manual OBS Fords, which cover a few years, this probably applies to you. So I was having trouble with my clutch when I go to start the vehicle. I have to really push down on the clutch so hard that I have to like hook my leg on the back of the seat to push it in. Now, I know the problem. I was just a little lazy and I just figured, well, I can just push hard instead. Well, I went to the junkyard yesterday and I pulled a new one because what happens is eventually this pin will wear out. This is your uh, master clutch clevis pin. Um, and I couldn't find one online, so I don't know if they still make them or if they're discontinued. But anyway, this is the part that I pulled from an F-150 at the junkyard. You can see that there's marks in here so it doesn't, doesn't slip on the gear. Um, so underneath here, let's see, I'll turn this light on and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. But so up here, ignore these, these are for my lights, but, um, you can see this white retainer clip. Um, I, I did put a new one in there like a couple weeks ago and it lasted for a little while, but my problem is that this clip had worn out and then I kept using the truck and this clutch rod, which goes through the clutch neutral safety switch and through the firewall, rubs on that clevis pin that I just showed earlier, and it wears down the back of it. So instead of, you know, being circular like this one is, it gets like a little oval here. So you have to push even farther for this clutch neutral safety switch to realize that the clutch is engaged. Um, so today we're just gonna come in here and then if you can see up here right there there's that nut it's an 18 millimeter so you just undo that and then put a screwdriver between this bent bracket and the whole um, clutch and brake mounting bracket so right up let's see I have a screwdriver here so if you put a screwdriver in sorry it's really hard to show but if you put a screwdriver in this gap, once you get that nut off right there, you can pry this bent bracket off and then you just have to re replace that with like the part that I had. So you just pop this retainer clip off, move it out of the way, undo that nut. All right, so now you can see this retainer clip. Uh, mine's pretty beat up, so you can probably just slide it right across. Yeah, like that pops it off, pull the clip out. As you can see, it's really worn out. Um, so that happens from this inside of the metal every time you compress it, rubs that down. Well, I didn't change it and I should have. So this metal here started wearing out the back of this pin. So when I get that off, you'll be able to see, I don't know, actually, maybe you can see it now, right there, that color difference, it's worn out. But anyway, so now that you got that off, Take your 18 millimeter, put it on this nut right here, and just pry that off. I won't show you this whole thing because it, it just takes a lot. All right, so I just got the nut off, and now you're just going to take a screwdriver, and this is going to take a lot of work. How I did it at the junkyard is I, I undid this whole bracket. So I undid the four, the four bolts that come out right here as you can see these four here around the brake lever um i undid these two on the opposite side of the firewall so inside the engine bay and then there's two more up there now that's how i did it in the junkyard so i pulled the whole thing out and then once i had it out i could pry this off but i'm just gonna have to work my way around here and i might have to get a stronger screwdriver but um just work your way around and eventually those slots on this bracket and on the receiving end will work themselves apart. So now I've got the old one that I took from the junkyard on the left. The one on the right is the one I took out of my truck. Now if you set them down like this and look at them, you can tell the one on the right has definitely been worn. So it's a lot thinner here. Um, now this is where that rod goes to the the master cylinder of the clutch um so that's not gonna 
obviously pushes far, which means you have to push the clutch lever down farther. Um, so when I put this new one in, or the used one, but new to me, um, it'll have the right diameter and it should solve that problem. Now the reason, now you'll notice it came off really hard. Um, it's because this was a, a machined hole at that diameter and then that rod underneath where it sits, all these marks are punched on from when it gets slid on. These aren't machined in notches. Um, so that's why it comes off so hard. Right, now, what I'm gonna do, hopefully you guys can see, is I'm gonna take this retainer clip and put it through the clutch rod. And then that'll hold this in the right distance from the firewall. So I'm gonna put this on. Pop that on there, like that. And now I'm just gonna line it up. Now make sure your clutch pedal itself is pulled all the way like up so it's not decompressed at all. And then just line it up where it's supposed to sit so it's out from the firewall. Um, I think you can just put that, put the nut back on, which I have down here. Here. So I think you can probably thread the nut on and those threads will go all the way up to the end of the vertical thread. So that'll just push this bracket back on. Tighten it the rest of the way with this wrench without knocking it. That'll be the magic touch. Appears like it's going on straight. I don't know if you guys can tell, so that's good. And now before you put it all the way on, you'll want to put your clutch neutral safety switch back on here and then just test just to make sure it's in the right position because if it's not, before you get it too far, it'll make it easier to uh, pop it back off and readjust it. a lot better so now all I did to finish it up was tighten in that bolt and reattach the clutch neutral safety switch and now the truck starts easily should have done the job earlier so I didn't wear out so much of the metal but oh well thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions or comments